I was really upset. You know? I mean, that was my marriage there, and they're just slagging it off. I'm very upset. There are so many people, so many families that actually turned out very well, so it's just where are they <laughs> in this documentary? Basically, we were denied this opportunity to speak and to give the hopeful sign of our story. Hi, I'm outside the Channel 4 offices this morning uh, where tonight they're going to air a program that uh, directly ridicules and mocks my marriage as a unificationist. It's given an insulting title, uh, My Big Fat Mooney Wedding, and we've learned that this program is very biased. They have no opinions from our uh, positive uh, experiences of families and couples uh, within the unif unification movement and uh, we're protesting very strongly against this kind of treatment which only does damage to families and uh, presents a, a false picture to the British people. Yeah, the title of the, the, the program, uh, My Big Fat Mooney Wedding, is um, upsetting to say the least. Mooney is a derogatory term, you can look it up in the dictionary, and it, it defines it as a derogatory term. Uh, you wouldn't say, My Big Fat uh, Wog Wedding or My Big Fat uh, nigger wedding or wid yid wedding or something. You wouldn't do that. You wouldn't dare do that. So why call it a big fat moony wedding? Personally, I think negative media has a, a huge effect on, on the children of the people who are of the subject matter of such documentaries. Sometimes um, neighbours have been a little bit unkind to her. They're saying that we're not Christian or something like that. Mm. Um, and, and she did suffer, actually. And particularly when the, the media, in a sense, mocks your parents directly. You know, it's, it's very, I think it's very harmful and difficult. I mean, if, if I were younger um, than I am now, personally, I'd be quite shocked and, and, and devastated. And to hear that that is, is somehow all false, I think for especially younger children is, is extremely damaging and it destroys the, their growth and their the sort of perception of who they are and who they want to be. The program misrepresented us because you know how can uh, you know six people who have left the movement effectively um, represent you know hundreds of other couples who uh, made a, a go of the marriage and, and made a happy marriage. Uh, it's complete misrepresentation. <laughs> The program makers said that they would they try to approach us, but we shut the doors on them. But that's actually not true, and we have emails to prove it. Uh, I think uh, actually Double Band Films, the uh, filmmakers, um, should we say, didn't quite say the truth about that. Uh, we were actually approached, and we'd arranged to have a meeting with them, with a number of couples who are ready to be interviewed, couples who, like myself, have a nice marriage. Uh, and unfortunately, they just ignored that. And they told us, in fact, that uh, they weren't going to produce... A, well, they, they said that they were going to produce another programme and they may get back to us later on. The next thing we heard was that this programme had already been made with uh, former members. I think, in general, it was unfair that this blessing ceremony, which meant so much or means so much to so many people, was sort of um, put down um, in such a way as um, portraying it as a media sort of event trying to create publicity for Reverend Moon because um, it did actually mean a lot. For me it's been positive really all the way through so I couldn't say I'm embarrassed about it at all, no. Yeah. Proud of it, aren't we? Proud of it. I wasn't joining a publicity stunt. I was going there to make a real commitment in my life and uh, you know as, as were the people who unfortunately 
uh, couldn't make it in the film that we saw from Channel 4. Yeah, I don't like the word super race. <coughs> it's a bit, um, we're trying to create super men or super women or something. Of course we're not super men or super women, but all we do is we try to create healthy relationships. I, I would welcome programs about our movement, as long as we you know, can be guaranteed to have uh, balanced input. Um, as long as we can you know, be involved in the decision making about the program, as long as we can have religious people, if not necessarily ourselves, involved in the spiritual aspects or interpreting the religious side of things, I think that's fine. But just to go ahead uh, with such a, a secular, anti-religious stance in a sense, uh, it really doesn't do anyone any good. Mm. It really, this kind of media presentation really gives people a very strong impression in a certain way. So if last night's program was the first thing someone saw, that, that's very powerful. That's why images mm. are very, very powerful and why media outlets should use them more responsibly. It's kind of dehumanising also, isn't it? The imagery, mm. like using mm. plastic image or something like that. It's like dehumanising, depersonalising. Mm. You know? It doesn't show, to me this documentary did not show in any way that we are strange and evil people. It showed that the documentary makers were just simply ignorant about who we are what we do, and what we believe. That's all it showed. Oh, well, it's just a bit ridiculous, really. And um, I really feel genuinely sad about that journalists can do such a shoddy job. I, we have such an important message, and I wish we had more opportunities. Basically, we were denied this opportunity to speak and to give the hopeful side of our story. <laughs>